Okay, this is part six. Uh, so let's add this outer ring here uh, on the castle. So we can use Alt D to duplicate this. Let me scale it down a bit. And uh, let's add a curve, Shift A curve. Where is it? So it's here, bring it here. Let's go to wireframe so we can easily see things. Go to edit mode, change this to the handle type to vector. Uh, we need to move this into position and uh, move origin to object, origin to geometry like that and also we can move this to the origin of the of the curve object so shift uh, we need to first select the curve shift is cursor to selection and then selection to cursor then in the array we need to change this to curve select the curve select the curve so this is called Bezier 4 I will just locate it there. Now we can apply the rotation and scale of this. Make sure this is also applied. Uh, because it's uh, because it's uh, an instance, we can't apply the rotation, but that's okay. I think we already applied it a few times. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what else. So. Um, 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 um let me see curve uh, we need to add it also as a deformer for this object let's curve four for some reason it keeps distorting the mesh so let's kill this in the z axis in the y axis And also in the x axis, like that, and in the z as well. And uh, move this to the curve and the object down to position. Think around here. Maybe we also need to scale this. like that again remember we have a mirror object so we can apply another mirror mo modifier and uh, select this object here empty empty I think it's the only empty we have is it empty zero one empty zero one as our mirror and uh, we can just move these closer uh, make sure you have clipping on and yes yeah, so now we can uh, select this curve here make sure this array is set to fit curve length and then we can select it, that curve. Extrude. Mm. And extrude there, extrude there, extrude there. And extrude, extrude there. We need to change this to aligned. Also this to aligned. And uh, move this. So let's see. Curve four. Curve four. A 
for some reason the count is not working uh, so let's just uh, where's the curve this array is not working so let's just keep it to a uh, fixed count and I just use this count here Just need to select this, extrude, extrude, so we just need to increase the count again until it connects on the other side, like that. So in areas where it is intersecting, if I can find that curve, just need to push them, to put to push those sides out like that. We have that. <coughs> Make sure this is recording. Okay, let's continue and uh, we can add a booleans for these windows. Uh, so for that we can uh, continue using I think the same object here. So if I you know what let me just add another object so if i add a cube here can select this object here shift s cursor to selected cursor to selected alt d for this then shift s selection to cursor to position that and uh, we can think we have uh, a window here So we can add another modifier, copy, and uh, select this as the object. And uh, in its object properties, we can uh, change this to wire so that we are able to see how this is affecting that. And uh, another thing we can do here Let's see. I think we can. We would just use the windows we we use. So we you can now edit this, and it would update here. So if you want to add another window here, you can just either select this here. If I can select it, I think this would be easier. Just selecting this, go to wireframe, Shift D, and move it to position. I think it's around. So also needs to be scaled a bit. Mode round there. Then we can also shift D duplicate. And now we can use the cursor, position it around there. For first maybe we don't even need to use that. Add in some random windows. So because we have rotated this, uh, we can select any of the faces like this. Go to this icon here and then click the plus to add another orientation. So you can see 
now we can select this and uh, orient it and scale it in that orientation we have just added. Even move it in that direction. So I think that's too big for our window. So we can uh, scale this down. Then shift D to duplicate. Uh, because we already ha we have a cursor here. And I'll, before you move, shift D, then hit a uh, full stop on your keyboard to bring up this. Then rotate. I don't know why this is getting in the way. So you can rotate it on that axis like that. And uh, we can move this up like that. Uh, so you see, this is only working on one part of the mesh. So what we can do is either add the mirror modifier. I think we can add the mirror modifier on this. Mirror modifier. But uh, I think that would introduce some artifacts here. Uh, or we just need to reposition this. Make sure we are scaling via median point and uh, the orientation is still global. So this artifact is coming because of this mirror modifier we have. There is a face between this. So what we can do, let me see. We can move this away from that from that yeah, from that away from that uh, from that object, and uh, maybe scale it from that um, mirrors mirror axis or mirror position. So we also need uh, some windows on this side. So I will just uh, select maybe this face here. I think it's supposed to be on the opposite side here. Shift D, rotate 90 degrees. Maybe these ones might be even larger. The du duplicate them around. to have something like that. Uh, we can also use these on the other side. So we can select Control L, Shift D, duplicate one for this uh, inside wall and uh, duplicate one for this other wall. And I shift D, move this around like so. Shift D, duplicate, rotate 90 degrees and uh, move this. Nice. Let's see how it would look on that corner there. Uh, if you want, you can also add more on this inside wall. So we just need to select this inside wall, copy this Boolean and uh, select 
uh, select this object which is plane 7 plane 7 as our boolean but uh, it's not working for some reason so let's see why not this this is plane 7 what we want to use is this plane uh, cube 1 so this is supposed to be cube one. And I think that is not bad. I think it's a nice design. So we can leave it there. So if we go in and uh, hide, um, extras, you can see how the castle would look like. So I think in the next lesson we will look at uh, we will start texturing the castle and see how it comes out. <laughs>